Hey, Jason here, and if you've been following along, we're going through the Bob Proctor uh, coaching program of the success puzzle. And today we're going to talk about how to actually start changing our circumstances and get the goals or the results that we want in life. And I was thinking about this in the, while I was getting my hair cut today, getting a shade. And I was really thinking, I'm like, okay, what is the one simplest thing that people can start doing to actually get the, the circumstances that they want in their favor instead of it? I always feeling like, oh, there's no odds, there's no chances for me. And I really started thinking about it and I realized it's the first thing that we have to do and it's the most crucial thing that we have to do in our life. We have to start changing our attitude. And remember the definition of attitude according to Bob Proctor, it is the composite of your thoughts, feelings, and actions, which in turn produces your results. And so if you want to change the circumstances or your chances of getting to your goals, you may want to start changing your attitude because it's directly related to you getting your, uh, getting your results. And I know a lot of times, like when we hear this stuff, like it sounds very simple and like, oh, I do have a good attitude and all of this. I'm going to tell you from firsthand experience, I was one of those people who thought I was a very positive person. I thought I was very optimistic. And the truth was I was pessimistic. And so just hear me, hear me out here. And let's just look at it from the academia level. Let's go from the kid who's in high school and they drop out because they don't care about school, they don't care about getting good grades, and all they want to do is just live their life on their terms. That kid is no different than the college student who drops out in their doctoral program. They've invested all of these years, all of this countless money, and they're going to give up on their supposed dream and they're going to have reasons behind it to justify it, but they're really not justified. Think about it. How many people dropped out? Oh, it's too difficult. But did you apply yourself fully? Even me, I'm guilty of it. I, dropped, I tell a person in an instant, I dropped out of my bachelor's program. Uh, one, I was dealing with mental health issues. However, still, I was not, I wasn't trying to take care of my mental health at that time. I was so busy thinking I knew better than everyone else. Uh, I was doing the best thing. So I wasn't even giving myself a fair shot at being able to go to college. And that's just showing you from my example. And so what is stopping them? And that's the real key is, it's the same thing, like I said, it stopped me from being able to finish my bachelor program, but it was also the same thing that was stopping me from being a good husband in the beginning, being a good partner in the beginning when me and Cece were first dating, uh, being an active and supportive person, being a loving person, even to my family. like. And then the whole reason was, it was my attitude. Because the composites of my, the composite of my thoughts, feelings, and actions, they were all negative. They were all leading to nowhere. Uh, most of the time I was just sitting at home on the couch uh, in my recliner. Or I'm either going out shooting uh, guns, shooting arrows. Like, it was nothing positive that I was doing with my life. I definitely wasn't having positive feelings. Because at that point in time, I was suicidal. And I definitely wasn't having positive thoughts because I didn't even understand why I was here. I was just like, what is the purpose of this? And so this is why this is actually really key. And remember, the attitude is the composite of your thoughts, feelings, and actions. If any of these, one of these things are negative, you're going to get negative results. And we see this all the time in sports athletes, especially celebrities. And we're like, oh, how do these people, how can they be like this after they're getting all of this money? Because they have negative thoughts negative feelings and in return they have negative actions doing negative things and that's that's the thing like this is the key to success and so what is the first way to actually start adjusting your attitude and this is the simplest way that i found out while i was going through all the different things that i was doing uh while i was in the barbershop i was going through my head all the different things i've done i'm sorry that i've done over the years and i realized the simplest thing to do is affirmations However, let's go back to the definitions. Remember, I'm all about defining things now in life because if we're not defining things for our life, it's probably one of the other reasons why we have a negative attitude towards the success that we want. And so I looked up the definition of affirmation here just a couple of minutes ago. It said the action or process of affirming something. That doesn't mean nothing to me. I don't know about you. And then the second definition underneath it was emotional support or encouragement. I'm like, okay, we're getting somewhere now there. And so I kept reading through these, and then this is the definition that I came up with for myself. I said, affirmations are emotionally charged words directed towards ourselves from ourselves. Now, really catch that. These are emotionally charged words 
that are directed towards ourselves from ourselves, meaning we are saying this to ourselves on a habitual basis. And how we do, uh, how we actually use affirmations, we say, I am, and then whatever word after that. Um, I can tell you back when I was 600 plus pounds, I was always saying, I am fat, I am sick, I am miserable, oh, I am depressed, I, I'm tired of being here, I am tired of being here. Like, all of these were my I ams. Like, nothing was positive, nothing was going on saying, oh, I am healthy and wealthy, oh, I am a great husband, oh, I, wake up, I am waking up smiling each and every day, happy and enthusiastic about life. Like, really catch that. Because... Affirmations can be negative or positive, and it doesn't matter which one it is, it's going to directly affect our attitude. So if we know that a negative or a positive affirmation is going to affect our attitude, shouldn't we want to make sure we're affirming positive things to ourselves to give us a positive mental attitude, which we know will give us positive goals in return? So that is why this is really key. So how to actually implement affirmations. Now, I just don't want to tell you, oh, affirmations, and then you're out there like, oh, Jason told me affirmations are emotionally charged words we say towards ourselves. Uh, we say towards our, we say towards ourselves, uh, to ourselves, from ourselves. And I want to give you action steps because it's all about action. If you're not taking action, you're not really going to be moving forward to your goal because remember, success is progressive. It's gradual steps each and every time. And so how to implement affirmations. First time, first off, go to YouTube. And just find and type in I am affirmations. There's going to be videos pop up. There's channels uh, directed just for those. Uh, they have some on success. They have some on health and wealth. They have a lot of them on money. Like there's a lot of I am affirmations. Find the ones that you like and listen to them. And now the best way to implement these affirmations is when the subconscious mind is calm. Meaning your conscious mind is not really running things in charge. Your subconscious mind is calm. It's, it's a, you're an emotional neutral. And the three times where I've realized that we reach this state from the studies that I've done is one, when we first wake up in the morning. And second one is when we're nodding off, going to sleep like late at night, if you're just getting real drowsy, nodding off. And then the third time is while we're sleeping. So this is what I actually do in my life each and every day. And I have different devices doing it all around the house. While I'm sleeping, I have I am affirmations going. I have some on success. I have some on confidence. I have some on, um, uh, what's the other one? Um, it's um, it's um, uh, egoic quotes. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's egoic quotes. I have an affirmation going on that also. I have one going on from Bob Proctor. Talking about how I have multiple streams of income coming in on a continual uh, basis. And this is how you want to do it. You want to implement it while you're sleeping. And how you do it, you just put it on your phone, have it on a loop so it'll play all night. And you want to cut the volume up just enough to where you can barely make out the words. You don't want to need, you don't need to hear it all the way. It doesn't need to be loud. It needs to be barely at a level to where you can consciously hear what you're, hear what it's saying. And that way it's going to start programming your subconscious mind. And now you, I know the next thing you may be asking, well, Jason, how long do I need to do this? Just one day, two days, three days? Let's go back to the definition of success. Success is the pro progressive realization of a worthy idea. Progressive. We have to start with progressive. It is the very key to our success because it means continual, over time, nonstop. So you don't want to stop this. So you're going to sleep every night anyway. So keep doing this every night while you're sleeping. And just commit to one video, you know, maybe for a week. If you don't feel like that video is really resonating with you, try another video. Keep being progressive, gradual steps. And that's how you'll start slowly changing your attitude. And you'll start seeing your circumstances around you change also. So I hope you got some value from this. Make sure you like the video. Share with anyone who could use this information. And have a great day.